Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mika and here on my channel I do fragrance reviews. I do want to thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I would not have gotten this far without you so please continue to watch and support me. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go on and ring that bell and subscribe today. Today I wanted to change the scenery and bring to you my top wish list items. I have eight fragrances here on my 2024 wish list that I'd love to be able to get my hands on. They've been on my list for a while. Some are recently new but some are fairly old but this is the year that I plan to um, that I plan to make it happen for these eight fragrances. Before I begin I do want to share with you my scent of the day which my scent of the day is Vert Malachite and this is by Giorgio Armani and beautiful bottle just emulates the way I feel today and and the beautiful weather that we're experiencing here in Atlanta without further ado I'll jump right into my top eight wish list for 2024 I have eight fragrances that I'd like to share with you that are on my wish list for 2024. Uh, so the first one here is Black Tie by Celine. I don't have any fragrances by Celine, but I've heard so many great things about this house's fragrance lineup. So many people start off with the sample set and I think I might go this route just because of all the wonderful offerings that they have. But specifically Black Tie. With Black Tie it's an amber woody vanilla for men and women. And it's said to be a powdery, chic, polished fragrance that just urges you to dress up. I would love to be able to have another fragrance in my lineup to have for special occasions and I think this one will be right up my alley. I've heard that it's super sophisticated, it's very high quality. So many people talk about the distinct DNA of the ores that Celine has and I am just so here for the subtle sweetness that I've heard about. It's said to be sexy in a bottle, but most of all, I'm really looking for that that dress up, little black dress, tuxedo, um, ambiance type of fragrance. And I think that the name is fitting and it will serve as a special occasion fragrance for me. So again, that's Black Tie by Celine. Next is a fragrance that just, that just recently came out this year and as you know if you follow my channel I am a big lover of musk specifically Narciso Rodriguez's musk. I believe I have every single bottle in the, the house's collection and just recently what came out is for her musk nude by Narciso Rodriguez and this was just recently launched as I said and the nose behind it is one of my favorite perfumers who is Sonia Constant. The top notes are white flowers, pink pepper, middle notes are his infamous musk, orange blossom which I love, damask rose and base notes are tonka bean, patchouli as well as cedar wood. It's called to be a second skin um, creation as well as an intimate effect and I know I will love this all because someone said that it is it's said to be fluffy with slight sweetness and it reminded them of Guidance and Guidance is my number one fragrance so if anything is resemblance of Guidance I know it's going to be a love at first sniff for me. So that is For Her Musk Nude by Narciso Rodriguez. The next one is a house that I don't have any of. I hear so many people talk about Vanilla 28, which is intriguing, but I really want to try the wedding. It's called the Wedding Silk Santel by Kayali. And the top notes are champagne, freesia, black currant, middle notes are nectarine, praline, jasmine, orange blossom, may rose, and base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. These notes it just sounds like something that I have in my collection, but just reading the reviews, 
lets me know that it's something different it sounds like they're so lovely together and just beautiful i can only imagine a bride at her wedding it's, it seems to be fitting for a wedding day and just beauty so that's the wedding silk santel by kayali The next one is also by Sonia Constant. This is by um, this is her own house, um, Ella K. And please forgive me if I mispronounce any of these names, but the fragrance that I have on my wish list is La Trois de Pushkar. And this here is a beautiful amber floral. And it's reminiscent of the aromas that you get from India, which would be like the saffron, the nutmeg, and the cinnamon. And it and just intrigued me when I saw that it was reminiscent of Scherzo. And if you watch my channel, you know that Scherzo is one of my favorites. I was scared at first because of the oud, but Scherzo has made me rethink oud and how I feel about it. And I can't go wrong. If if it is anything as opulent as skirt so i also read that it had great lasting power i just love the house ella k thus far i have two fragrances so far actually i have three fragrances i have camilla k i also have the musk as well as reflect sur la avango and those three fragrances are just chef's kiss they were love at first sniff and i am so excited that she started her own house but just reading the notes of letra de pushkar i know that i i may enjoy this one plus one of my subbies also mentioned that i should try it so this is also on my wish list which is letra de pushkar by ella k parfums this next one is by a house that I've been enjoying. I have a couple from this house and that is Brompton Immortals by Ex Nihilio. The bottle looks so intriguing. If you could see how beautiful this bottle is, I've put, uh, put it up in the corner here. And it is just a amber floral, top notes of saffron. I'm beginning to see a theme of saffron here. I, I don't know what's going on with me and saffron, but it has saffron, pink pepper, middle notes are Bulgarian rose, ylang ylang, lily, jasmine sambac, as well as base notes are Madagascar vanilla. I love olibanum. It has olibanum and white musk. Something about olibanum is just so uh, it's just so grounding for me. This is said to be a smooth and sophisticated um, beauty with a sophisticated with ridiculous longevity and siat. Um, it's just said to be one of this house's best and I'm just so interested to get my nose on it. The next one on my list is Solar Blossom by Miss Sincere, and this is created by one of my favorite perfumers who is known for relaxing fragrances, just something that you would just um, sleep in, bedtime fragrances, and that is Alberto Morales. I love his nose. The top notes are Neroli Essence, Hedione, middle notes are Orange Blossom, Jasmine, and base notes are Vanilla. The soft, warm orange blossom with a hint of sweetness is what pulled me in. I love orange blossom. As you may know, many of my fragrances have orange blossom as a note. And this is just said to be a fluffy marshmallow that's gorgeous, reminiscent of Sintra, just a lighter version of Sintra, and I am here for it. So that is Solar Blossom by Mi Sincere. Next fragrance is Santal Austral by Mathieu Premier. I don't have any fragrances from this house. The notes for this is, um, the top notes are iris, middle notes are sandalwood, base notes are tonka bean and benzoin. And for those, for those of you who are new, I really love sandalwood. Sandalwood is just so calming to me. It just makes me slow down and, and enjoy, enjoy and be present in the moment. 
This one here is said to be a dry sandalwood. It's smooth, it's creamy, and it just radiates off your skin. I saw mixed reviews, but majority of them were positive, and someone even said it's um, a true masterpiece. So I don't know. I want to try it. And any type of sandalwood, you just can't go wrong because it's my favorite wood. So again, that is Santal Austral by Matier Premier. And last but not least is Pure Noir by Anik Bing. And top notes are papyrus, saffron, there's that saffron again, oak, middle notes are black rose, black pepper, nutmeg, base notes are mahogany, gayak wood, and Spanish labdanum. Oh my god, just listen to those notes. It's papyrus, saffron, oak, black rose, black pepper, nutmeg, as well as Spanish labdanum. This is said to be a personal scent that embodies the two cities that I want to visit, and that is Paris and Copenhagen. I can only imagine what this fragrance smells like. If it is anything like the notes, it just represents softness as well as strength, and it's it's the sweet, woody, floral, spicy, all of that at the same time with the perfect equilibrium. I want to try that just from reading the notes alone. And it might be in the mail. <laughs> I'll keep you tuned. So guys, that is my top eight for 2024 wish list. I will keep you posted if any of these are scratched off and I get them in my collection and will be here to share a review with you. Thanks for dropping by and I appreciate you for dropping by. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed, go on and do that now. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.